why do we need legal frameworks on energy for us don't you think it's just a technological issue is it just a finance problem we need laws to regulate the transmission of electricity through the entire grid grid balancing is one of the key issues that is that lies before the technical people in the sector yeah. and you need re- legal frameworks to allow the electricity to come into the grid because if too many people are supplying or too many people are off taking at the same time then the entire grid is is at risk and it's at the risk, risk of of collapse so that's one good reason to have it so why do we need regulation in the first place i mean isn't it that deregulation is fine the distribution companies were set up to deal with in the first place yeah so if we had privatized them or deregulated them at that point in time then we could possibly have imagined them to be in better financial shape now and therefore the problems that we have in relation to private companies selling to distribution companies might not have existed to the same extent kya electricity apne aap mein commodity hai ya ye service hai ya ye confused state mein abhi anything that's produced in the economy requires inputs to produce it those inputs have to be paid for so i think it's a question of approach that it's better to treat it as a commodity to allow it to be bought and sold at the price which the market determines for it do you see some role of civil society do you see some role of of think tanks and not for profit institutes and centers to ensure that there is some light of the day that these policies also also see i don't think there's any stakeholder who should not be involved what are these top 2 or 3 legal challenges that you see in today's world wherein you want to move towards cleaner energy options i'm not a big fan generally of top 5 and top 3 and top 10 type of lists i think is very much a function of the internet age but what i'd like to see happening is for people to see this in terms of principles is to look at law and policy making in terms of principles and ultimately when we look at how the select sector is going to grow or how the energy transition is going to take place this is not going to take place with the majority of the cash coming from government yeah majority of the money is going to come from the private sector